Am I the asshole for telling my son that he ruined Christmas for me and his stepdad when he decided to spend it with his dad? Me, female, and my ex-husband, male, are divorced. We have a 16-year-old son together, Mason. I got remarried to my husband, male, Nathan. My ex-husband and I used to argue on who should get Mason for the holidays back when he was little. As he got older, we started letting him decide. Last year, he spent Christmas with me, Nathan, and my in-laws, and he complained that the experience was terrible because he said Nathan and his family had little to no accommodation for his food choices. I'm not defending them, but my in-laws are quite traditional when it comes to food and a bit ignorant to what types of foods Mason eats. He also said he didn't feel as welcome as the other kids in the family and that Nathan forced him to share his personal stuff, like his phone, so that his step-nephews could watch Christmas movies. Yesterday, during breakfast, we were talking about Christmas and what we were planning this year, but he out of nowhere announced that he'll be spending his Christmas with his dad at a rental Christmas cottage in his favorite town. I was stunned. So was Nathan. I asked Mason when and how he agreed to this arrangement, but he pointed back to what happened last Christmas and said he didn't want to basically have another shitty holiday and be miserable. I told him that his dad should have come to me first, but he argued that he's already okayed it, and so he saw no need for my opinion. We started arguing, and he started complaining about me trying to ruin the experience, but in response, I told him that he already ruined Christmas for me and his stepdad the minute he agreed to this arrangement. He got up and walked away after saying that I was being overdramatic. Nathan just sat there and looked down. I had a huge argument on the phone with Mason's dad and he kept giving me attitude and laughing and saying I sounded pathetic. When I told him I'd have my lawyer call him, he backpedaled and said he wouldn't have done this if Mason didn't like it. He urged me to drop it and let Mason have this experience or he'll resent me for missing it. Now Mason isn't speaking to me. Nathan is trying to convince him to stay with us because without him, our Christmas is ruined, but he won't budge from the looks of it. Am I the asshole for not dropping it as well? What I meant by why didn't his dad come to me first is that he planned to take Mason out of town, which is a big deal for me. There's going to be traveling. Um, okay, yes, you are the asshole. Yes. Don't drag your kids into your uh, relationship issues. Yeah. Between oh. their, their parents. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> Also, you said it yourself. We used to decide about where he went, but once Mason got older, you started letting him decide. So if you give him the freedom to decide, how are you going to get mad at him when he picks what he prefers just because it's not you? If you're going to get mad at him for picking after you offer him the choice, you're not really offering him the choice, are you? No. She just sounds, she sounds immature. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Yeah, I think she needs to kind of check herself. And he's 16, so he can, I'm sure he's more than capable of choosing what he wants to do. He knows, he probably knows like the consequences of it and he still is going forward with that choice. I I feel like she's priding herself on giving him the illusion of the choice. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you pick, but she knows he's going to pick her. Yeah. But then he didn't and she gets sad. I mean, who would say no to a Christmas cottage in your favorite town? Yeah. That sounds adorable. That sounds amazing and he did Christmas with you last year so even if he had a wonderful experience he's still justified in wanting to spend time with his dad yeah exactly and on top of him being justified it's like he's further justified in the fact that your new husband's family didn't treat him very well so why would he continue to pick (laughs) that I think she's a little bit entitled, and yes, the asshole. Mm -hmm. That was the overall vote on Reddit. Okay, good. 